Thank you for clicking on kbzk.com and kxlf.com. Don't forget to download our free Storm Tracker weather app by searching kxlf or kbzk. A lot to talk about here. We do have a major winter storm that will be arriving this evening, and that is going to bring with it the chance for snow all the way throughout the day on Monday, and our active weather pattern is going to continue as we head on into next week. Let's get right to it because that map is colorful. I can see that right there. Winter weather advisories out to our west for our western counties and winter storm warnings for our eastern counties. That winter storm warning does run through midnight Tuesday for significant snow accumulations, perhaps four to six inches for some of the valley regions and then up to a foot for some of the mountain regions as well. That will also result in dangerous travel conditions. Passes may become impassable due to snow-packed roads and poor visibility. That winter weather advisory is out for our western counties for some accumulating snowfall, perhaps one to four inches for the area valleys and just under a foot for some of the mountainous regions. And then again, snow-packed roads are possible, which will complicate travel as we head on throughout your Monday morning commute and really throughout the day to start the work week. Satellite and radar, you can already see that snow spreading in from the west. That will continue to increase in coverage as we go on throughout the day as a result of this storm system currently located over parts of British Columbia. It's going to be bringing with it some moderate to heavy snow with colder conditions because of that cold front that is associated with that storm system. We'll take you hour by hour. Snow begins to spread into the area as we head on through the overnight. This is 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Look what's going on to the south and to the east of Bozeman. Very hazardous travel conditions are expected along Interstate 90 between Bozeman, Livingston, and Billings tomorrow. So take it very easy. If you don't need to be traveling, I advise you not to. If you do have to get to work in Billings tomorrow, go ahead and give yourself an extra couple of hours before heading out the door because it will be quite treacherous out there. That snow, it will be on and off throughout the day. This is noontime. As you can see, it will be spotty and light for the most part, but we're going to be dealing with it on and off throughout the afternoon hours, and then we're still going to see some icy spots on those roadways throughout the evening with that snow finally coming to an end by midnight for your Tuesday. Now how much snow are we talking about? This model I think underdoes it just a little bit as you can see again one to four, four to six inches for some of the valley regions. I do expect three to six in Bozeman tomorrow. West Yellowstone perhaps two to five inches, one inch for the Dillon area and one to four inches for Butte. I will continue to have you updated throughout the day and thanks for watching and make sure to tune in to our 530 and 10 o'clock news.